What I will be doing today is read the highest rated books on my TBR and I have seen videos like this circulate on the internet a long time now and I think Kayla from La Lander Books was the first person to do this and she was the person that, you know, resulted in me wanting to do this. So I will link her video in the description below so you can check her out if you want to. So I have been wanting to do this experiment for forever now and I really want to do it by myself when I didn't have a YouTube channel. But now that I do, I want to share my results and my experience during this experiment time with you guys. So I just wanted to bring you along on this experiment to see if I too like the books as much as everyone who has read the books have. And with that said, let's go to my Goodreads. I have my iPad right here. Okay, so firstly I'm gonna do a prediction of what books I think will be on this list. Let me just point out that this list is a hot mess. Honestly, <laughs> I have books that are on my shelf, on my TBR, but I also have books that I haven't released yet that I want to be looking out for. And I have books that I want to read. This is not my TBR shelf TBR, this is like books that I want to read. Maybe I don't own them, but I want to read them anyway. So if I would predict what books would be on this list, I think The Invisible Life of Adela Rue will be on this list. I know it's on the list, but like high up they are on the average rating. I think King of Scars will be on that list, but I can't read that because I just did. Um... I think that Scythe by Neil Schusterman will be on this list as well. I just feel like a lot of people love that book. I think I'm going to settle for those three books. But anyways, I'm going to look at these right now. We're going to pick my TBR for the coming weeks. Okay, what I see first. On Sundays she picks flowers. I have this on my TBR because I want to read it but I don't own it. I don't know when this is published or when it's going to be published. That is first on my TBR because it has 4.76 as the average rating. Then I have Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. So I have heard a lot of great things about this book. This is a sci-fi book. This follows a girl at a space academy. She is trying to become a pilot but she's not liked by her fellow people on this space academy because her father ran away from the battlefield and is kind of branded as a traitor and a coward because he didn't fight for his country because there's an ongoing war between humans and aliens. It's a great honor to be fighting for the human race. So the daughter has to face with this and try to fix their reputation and you know her reputation and she wants to fight for her people. So I've read a lot of fantasy recently as well as some historical fiction. It was a long time ago that I read some high sci-fi, like space sci-fi. The last sci-fi books I read were Renegades which is kind of in an urban setting. I don't think this is set on earth. So I'm actually really excited to be picking this up. Now we're going to see here. The ones we're meant to find, this comes out in 2021 so it hasn't come out yet when I'm filming this. Small Favors, the same with that one. I'm really looking forward to that. It's by Erin A. Craig. For the Wolf, another book that haven't come out yet. And then From Blood and Ash, which I haven't read yet. And The Invisible Life of Adela Rue by V. E. Schwab. I did predict this because, you know, everyone is talking about this. Everyone is loving this. And even though people don't talk about it as much as it when it came out. It's still a very popular book to this day. If I just keep looking, we have House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland, The Exiled Queen, The Seven Realms, hashtag two novel, and then we have Scythe. So I predicted Scythe to be up there and it has a 4.32 rating, so it could have been up there if The Invisible Life of Adelaide Rue didn't have 4.34. But honestly, From Blood and Ash really surprised me because I did not think that From Blood and Ash would have 4.36 of a rating. It's a higher rating than The Invisible Life of Adler Rue. So okay, I'm gonna pick it up from my shelf. As you can see, I have other books behind it because I don't have the space on my shelves to have like them stacked all together. But anyways, I will be reading The Invisible Life of Adler Rue by V. Schwab. I have been wanting to read this like everyone else who hasn't read it yet. So this is about a girl named Addie who is in a situation that she doesn't particularly like and she tries to get away from this situation and because she is so desperate to get away from this she makes a deal with the devil to live forever and be free. But you know the devil isn't really trustworthy as you can probably guess and there's something to this deal that Adelie Rue didn't want and that is that she will live forever but she will not be remembered by anyone. She can talk to people and meet them but as soon as the people walk out of the conversation or turn their back on her they won't remember her name, they won't remember who she is. So she lives a very long life in this lonely bubble that is her life until one day when she is in a bookstore she meets a guy who remembers her name. I expect a very emotional impact from this story. I think it's going to be raw and beautiful and I think this is going to be great to read after this or whatever I read first. So I'm really happy that these two books were at the top of my TBR shelf in terms of average rating. So I will be reading these books in the next coming months. I will tag you along and have discussions about each book and we'll see which of these live up to my high expectations because the Goodreads ratings 
are high when it comes to these books. Okay, so I'm gonna pick Skyward by Brandon Sanderson because I haven't read a sci-fi book in a long, long time, but I think this is going to be a way more action-packed story than The Invisible Life of Ada LaRue, and hopefully I'm going to fly through this and get back to you as soon as I can with my thoughts on this book. This is how it's like to live in Sweden in March. It's practically still winter outside and it's snowing. It's a snowstorm. Fun. Okay, so I look a little bit like shit, I know. But I don't really have the time or motivation to put on makeup or fine clothes today. So here's how I look. I hope you don't mind. I finished Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. And I think I'm going to give it five stars. This is one of the best YA fantasy no. This is one of the best YA sci-fi books I have ever read. Like it's that good and I don't have any notes written down, I don't have even anything special to talk about. I just really enjoyed this book, I thought it was fun. I thought that the characters were well written, fun, interesting characters. I loved every single character in this book. I hated some of them, like personally I hated them. I thought that everyone was well written. 500 pages went by so quickly. But anyway, I loved the like scientific part of this book with the spaceships and the technology of it. I also really enjoyed the magical, I wouldn't really call it magic, but more like mythical, creepy part of this book. And I loved the ending so much and I want to read the sequel right away. I thought this was so freaking great and I definitely understand why people are giving this high rating on Goodreads because it's worth it. It's worth it guys, if you have not read this book, I really recommend you to do so. It was so much fun, like I laughed. I do not laugh when I read books, but I laughed a lot while reading this book. Like the main character was so funny in my opinion. And she was very dramatic in the beginning. And throughout this story, we see her change, we see her grow and evolve a lot. And I love seeing how she did that. And it was just, it was just great. But I just really enjoyed Brandon Sanderson's writing in this one. I really enjoyed everything about it. And this definitely tells me that I should pick up more Brandon Sanderson books. And it definitely tells me that I need to buy the sequel ASAP. I need to rate this five stars on Goodreads and just tell everyone that they should read this too. I'm just blown away by how good this was. I think this is honestly one of the best series. Hopefully the sequel is as good. But I think this will be one of my best sci-fi series I will ever read. And just look at the cover. Like I'm not mad that I love this book and I need to buy the sequel because it's so damn pretty. I checked on Goodreads before sometime like a couple of months ago and on Goodreads it says that this series is going to be like seven books long or six books or something. Maybe editing Nia will come in and put up a picture on how it is stated on Goodreads but I think when I clicked on this series and clicked like you know you can check all the books in a series there was a lot of unlisted books that is going to take place in this world and I'm hoping this is going to be a long sci-fi series because I haven't really had that experience ever. Like the longest sci-fi series, I'm looking at myself now by the way, the longest sci-fi series I ever read was The Lunar Chronicles which I loved. I don't read a lot of sci-fi and not a lot of sci-fi that goes on for a long time. So I was just so entertained while reading this. I felt so much joy and happiness and it was so funny and sometimes it was really hard to read and I just got a lump in my throat or so, like a press over my chest. Like I got anxiety from this book because it was so well written and I could feel for the character and I could feel her situation and like the anxiety that this book gave me didn't make me enjoy it less. It just proves that this had an impact on me. If you haven't read this, Pick it up. Goodreads recommend it. I recommend it. So the first book in this vlog is finished. I gave it five stars. And it turns out this book is well worth the hype on Goodreads. Now I'm just gonna... <laughs> okay, I'm sorry about that. Now for the next book. The Invisible Life of Adele LaRue by V.E. Schwab. I'm super excited to get started on reading this. This seems like a real slow burn of a book. So I'm really happy that I just read a fast paced book because that was fast paced. Like I read it for a week but I felt like I read it for like three days. But I'm really excited to learn more of Adele LaRue's journey. And I know this book means a lot to the author and I'm hoping this will mean a lot to me too. And also this is so damn beautiful and I'm I'm just really excited to be reading this. So I'm taking off the dust jacket. I'm not starting it right away because I just finished, or like a couple of hours ago, I finished uh, Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. So I don't want to pick it up right away, but I will definitely do that later this day. So I've only read two books by V.E. Schwab before. The first two books in the Darker Shade of Magic series and I didn't really like those because those were slow and those also didn't have an emotional impact on me. But like if I read a slow book and it still impacts me emotionally and I care for the character then 
I think it's going to be no problem that it's slow. So I haven't had the best experience with VH Wall, but I have followed her for like ages and I've seen her books everywhere. So yeah. Okay, so my camera completely just cut me off because I didn't have enough space on my phone to film. So like I said, I don't predict myself to start reading this like now. And now I'm going to make a granola and I thought that I could bring you along with me. When I make my granola, I won't have like talking clips. It will just be like B-rolls. But anyway, I'm gonna go do that and you can come along with me. Hello, I haven't updated you guys yet. I have only 100 pages left of The Invisible Life of Adele Rue. This has taken me way too much time to read. And by the way, what do you think of my bookshelves? They are completely new. I will do a bookshelf tour sometime in spring or summer. But anyway, I just want to keep things short. I just want to talk about the things that I enjoyed and didn't enjoy in the first half and just some quick notes. It took more than 100 pages, more than 150 pages to actually get to the premise of the book. Like the synopsis of the book is Adele Leroux makes a deal with the devil. That happens maybe 50 pages in. So the first 50 pages weren't that interesting. They were slow. This book is slow. So the first 50 pages slow but then something really interesting happens but then it goes on for more than 100 pages or something of more boring stuff and it takes a really long time for the second part of the synopsis to actually begin. So in the synopsis Adelaide Rue makes a deal with the devil, I have already talked about that, and then she meets a guy in a bookstore who actually remembers her name. So that happens way too late in my opinion. It should have happened way earlier because I was on Instagram, my bookstagram is in the description if you want to follow me there, but I was watching Insta story and I, one of my bookstagram friends said that she DNF this at the 150 page mark and that is just before the premise of the book actually begins. So I understand her why she DNF this book at 150 pages because before that it was really boring. And then after the 50% mark of this book it's slow but it is interesting. And if you don't want like long sentences, beautiful sentences, and a slow book, not much happens in the book, then don't pick this up. I gave Skyward, which is the first book I read in this video, five stars. I don't think this book is going to be a five star. I have 100 pages left. It's getting somewhere interesting and I do think I know where it's going. But like, is this even a four star? I don't think so. I just have no feelings towards it. And this is the complete opposite of Skyward. I gave Skyward five stars because it was fast paced, it was funny, I laughed a lot <laughs> while reading that book. And this just is the complete opposite and I don't like it that much. Like it's beautiful, it's beautifully made. Like we jump back and forth between Adele Leroux in the present time and her experience throughout the decades that she has been alive. And like the devil part right now is getting really interesting. As of now, I think I know where it's going. Like I can't see this book having a happy ending and we're getting somewhere with the devil and we're getting somewhere interesting with like the two main characters of this book as well. I just don't think that 100 pages of this book, that isn't enough time for me to start enjoying it. So today's Monday, March 22nd and I have a little less than 100 pages. I have like 93 pages left. I'm not going to finish it today. Like I don't want to push myself to do that because this has been a slow read and I don't want to have a book hangover after this. This feels like a book hangover book. Not because it's that good but just because it's so slow. So I think I will just read 50 pages today and 40 pages tomorrow or something like that and then I will talk to you guys again on Wednesday when I have finished the book and maybe hopefully have some like good thoughts about this book. So I finished The Invisible Life of Adela Rue yesterday and I did my calculations correctly and I finished it in two days. And in the last clip I remember saying that I didn't think that 100 pages could make me rate this book any higher but I think I was wrong. I really really enjoyed the last 100 pages 
and I thought that the pacing picked up. I thought that finally we were getting some like resolutions and all the characters responded to the actions that had been taking place in this book. Small secrets were revealed and there was some plot twists in there that I wasn't expecting and definitely the end page or the end pages. I did not expect that. Like I did predict where the story was going overall but I did not predict correctly how it was going to end and the motivations. So anyway, I was wrong, I can say that, but this is not a five-star reading for me. Goodreads had this at a very high spot on my TBR list, but I will not be giving it five stars. I think I will be giving it four stars because it was a really beautiful written book. It was slow moving and I just think that slow moving books are not my cup of tea. I remember feeling this way with Cersei by Madeline Miller. I thought it was very slow, it was beautifully written, the same is with this book. The, both of those books are beautifully written but they are very slow and this book as well as Cersei was just a book about someone's life and I didn't think that that was really interesting but if I compare this to Skyward they are completely different books. I am giving this book four stars, I am giving Skyward five stars. I have come to terms with that maybe slow moving books just isn't my thing. I don't really like reading it. This on the other hand which I gave five stars that was action-packed, it was really funny and that was so fast-paced and I really really enjoyed that. So this was a good book. I understand, I completely understand why people love this book and there's nothing wrong with it. This is a personal preference why I didn't enjoy this book. I am not mad I have read this book. I'm not mad that it will be having a place of its own right there on my shelf. Okay, I will stop rambling about this right now and I would thank you guys so much for watching this video. I thought it was really fun to see if I would like the highest rated books on my Goodreads shelf. It turns out I actually really did. At least with Skyward, I completely understand why people love that book because it was everything to me and it was so funny. If you haven't read Skyward, please do. And also, I began to edit this video like a couple of days ago before I had even finished uh, Adler Room. I remember I actually did granola and I filmed the whole process and I said to you that I was going to make granola and then I didn't update you guys about the granola. I know. So I'm gonna update you guys right now. It did get a little bit burned because I had it too long in the oven but I think it was really nice and <laughs> yeah that was my update on my granola. Anyway again thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will have a similar video up next week on Thursday. I post every week, every Thursday, so if you don't want to miss anything, click the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I post a new video. I know I haven't posted a lot of like really vlogs in a while, but those are coming. But anyway, leave a like, a comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!